Coaches, the next drill we have for you today is a T-target drill. We're going to work on a little uh, throwing mechanics. So what we have here is we have a T. You can put a mini soccer ball. You can put a wiffle ball. Whatever fits on a T, you can use that as their target for round one. That will be upper part of the strike zone. We've got a big, as big a target as you can find. And then the second part will be we have a bucket here. And you can put a basketball or anything else that's bigger, soccer ball, anything that can fit on top of the bucket. And that will work on the lower part of the strike zone. You can have a home plate right here. You can cut out a cardboard if you want, or if you have a regular home plate, whichever you have. And those are kind of the materials you'll need to start with. Also coaches, just make sure you pick your favorite teams, pick your favorite players, play however many as you want, like a normal game. Just make it kind of fun and competitive. And remember, if you hit the tee and the ball falls off, it's a strike. If you miss it, it's a ball. So play a normal game, four balls for a walk, three, ball, or three strikes for an out. That's the T target drill part one. Part number two for the T target drill, we're going to have a bucket on the ground. We also have a basketball in there right now. You can use any size ball that you have available. I'm using a tennis ball. You can use a smush ball or any ball you have available. We're going to work on the bottom of the strike zone. And I can move it inside or outside or right down the middle, whatever you feel you need to work on. And I'm going to start right now by trying to knock the ball off of the bucket. If I hit the back of the wall, it doesn't count. That's part two of the T-Target Drill. Hey folks, if you're looking for more baseball practice that you can do at home with minimal equipment, head on over to youthbaseballschool.com. We update our backyard practice every single day. You can sign up to get them delivered by email and view all of our past practices in one place. Thanks folks, stay safe.